Hello, I'm Alexandra, but most people call me Alex or Cheeky, and I have PCOS, IBS, and anxiety. And this is a little bit about my story and my journey. I grew up in a Cuban-American household watching my grandmother cook and work her magic in the kitchen. I began yo-yo dieting in middle school uh, all the way up into high school, and by the time I got to high school, I tried every diet you could think of. I had done the Atkins diet, the South Beach diet, the cabbage soup diet, I'm blanking, I've every diet you can think of. I also wasn't getting my periods regularly, which is kind of abnormal for a 17 year old. So I went to the gynecologist. After some blood work and some tests, she told me I was diagnosed with PCOS. Didn't really explain it much. Just told me that I needed to get on hormonal birth control to fix it, to manage the symptoms. There was no talk about what PCOS is or why I was having hormonal issues. There was no talk about trying to get to the root cause. There was no discussion on what a period should look like, the 28 day cycle, the four, you know, none of that was discussed. It was just that I had PCOS, I had a hormonal imbalance, and in order to fix it, I needed to get on birth control. I was 17 years old. She was a doctor telling me what to do. My mother was in the room and also agreed. So I got on birth control without a second thought. Jumped to 2018 and I start having stomach problems. I remember in November of 2018, around Thanksgiving, I was throwing up before every big event. In December, I remember throwing up in Nochebuena and New Year's. And then 2019 rolled in and I was still having a lot of stomach problems. And then I went to a flight to Raleigh in April and that's just when my world turned upside down. I had an intense migraine that caused half my face to go numb. I had this happened to me when I was 13, but it happened to me again. And the stress and anxiety of it just set me into full panic and my stomach problems just got worse and worse. And by the time July came of 2019, I was diagnosed with IBS, given a sheet of paper and told to follow the FODMAP diet with no other instructions. I was having diarrhea every single day. I know that might be a little TMI, but every single day and no matter what I ate, I just felt terrible. Everything I ate made me feel bad. I was running to the bathroom every single five minutes. I was going to the bathroom five times in the middle of the night. I was waking up every day at five o'clock in the morning to run to use the restroom and it was just awful and this lasted for years. <laughs> With the IBS, my anxiety just worsened. The feeling of you know, not feeling good and just my spiraling thoughts got worse and worse until 2020 came, which obviously didn't help. I just got more anxious and more isolated. I felt antsy in my skin all the time. My heart was racing. I just didn't feel like myself. Every day I was crying and every day I was just scared that I was gonna feel like this for the rest of my life. So it would only make my anxiety worse. I would maybe feel a little bit better and then an ang like an anxious thought would come, I would start spiraling and that's it, boom, full blown anxiety attack, I'm gonna feel like this forever. And it lasted like that basically all of 2020 until in 2021 when I started seeing a therapist and she was just amazing and is amazing. So therapy, definitely recommend therapy. I knew I needed to work on myself if I ever was gonna truly feel better. So I started reading, listening to podcasts and just educating myself as much as I could. That's when I realized I was focusing on everything individually. I was focusing on my PCOS, I was focusing on my IBS, I was focusing on my anxiety, but I wasn't looking at my body as a whole unit. I started to focus on not only what I was eating, but how I was feeling while I was eating them. What my thoughts were like, how my stomach was taking it, immediately after the first bite and just listening to the cues of my body. I worked a lot on strengthening my vagus nerve with my therapist, which also then helps with your digestion system because your vagus nerve and your digestion go hand in hand. So focusing and really toning my vagus nerve also helped my digestion. And little by little, I started to feel like myself again. I removed my IUD to get my PCA, PCOS in control and get my hormones back to balance naturally. And I signed up for the IIN, Holistic Health Coaching Nutrition Program to further my studies and to possibly one day teach others and share my journey. So that brings me to where I am today. I'm starting this YouTube channel to share my journey and my story and finding balance in my body. 
Nearly 70% of women have reported gut problems. 50% of women have hormonal imbalances and women are twice as likely to get anxiety than men. So I know I'm not the only one that's going through all of this. So I'll be sharing some videos of what I'm learning in school as well as what I've personally done in my life and how I've seen improvements, whether that be with food or with different breathing exercises. I'll be showing you some grocery hauls, what I eat for hormone balance and much more. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on my journey so we can learn, grow and heal together.